Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we are doing a video that has been highly requested and honestly, I couldn't wait to do it. And I'm doing a wear test on the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is what my final face looks like after applying the foundation. CC Cream looks like a foundation. Um, and doing the rest of my makeup. I am doing a full wear test today with this, so I'm gonna work out. This is gonna be on for at least 10 hours. So I'm excited to see how it wears because I have not put it through a wear test yet. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, I'd love to have you join the family. So please go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload twice a week and I do mainly beauty videos with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So. If you want to see the application of this CC cream and see how it looks at the end of the day, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so we're just going to jump straight into the video. I'm going to prime my face and then I'm going to talk to you about the claims of the CC cream while I let the primer sit and then we'll get into the application. For primer, I'm gonna use my Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. You guys know this has been a favorite of mine for a while now with my skin being drier and feeling like my pores and fine lines are showing more. I've started using this more than my Cover FX Gripping Primer. I still love that one, but I just feel like this helps a little more with the problems from the dry skin. Our wear test today is on the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. You guys just saw this in my recent haul and I am in the shade Deep 540N. It says it is with neutral warm undertones. It says it has skin loving ingredients, collagen, peptides, and niacinamide. And then it says on the back, ditch your basic foundation. This color correcting cream is the only product you need to achieve a natural looking complexion but with full coverage, a multitasking dream cream infused with collagen peptides and niacinamide known to plump, hydrate, and smooth the appearance of your skin while protecting with SPF 30. Directions say apply one to two pumps using our e.l.f. complexion duo brush to achieve an airbrushed finish. Whereas a moisturizer and full coverage foundation depending on your needs. So, I have an e.l.f. brush. This is the buffing brush, I believe, the airbrush buffing brush. This is what I use for all my foundation. I'm gonna use that. This is what the packaging looks like. Very similar to the IT Cosmetics packaging. We already know that. A lot of people have talked about how they think this is a dupe. On their website, it says that the foundation is $14 and there are how many shades? 20 shades. There are 20 shades. So for a CC cream, I think that's not bad. Actually, let's see something because I don't think that the IT Cosmetics CC cream has that many shades. No, it has 12. So e.l.f. is already ahead of the game. Thank you, e.l.f. So I did show you guys, I do feel like this is a perfect match for me. So we're just going to apply it. It is currently... 946 so we're gonna have this on for probably at least 11 hours because I am working out today so we will get to see how it wears putting it to some work so this is just one pump I love the undertone of this. It is not yellow at all. It doesn't make me feel orange. And I did all my normal skincare stuff. So I used my Milani Blur and, not Blur, Lord Barbara. My Milani Brighten and Prep Oil, as well as my moisturizer which today I use the Glow Recipe Moisturizer. Blends out really easy. So this is one pump. So honestly, if I was just putting this on like to run a quick errand, not really trying to do glam or going anywhere, this would be 
good enough for me. Like this is one pump. I have enough coverage. This has a slight smell to it, but it's not bad. But if you don't have the hyperpigmentation that I do, like I think one pump of this would be more than enough. And honestly, my hyperpigmentation isn't even showing that much. Mainly just down here, cause this is where I pick. So there we have that. I am gonna apply a second pump. I don't even know if I'm gonna put a whole pump. Cause I feel like it might be too much. I'm gonna apply a little bit more just in my problem areas. So this is a half a pump. And I'm just gonna mainly concentrate this on the lower half of my face. And then as you know, the second coat, whenever I do more than one layer, I usually just stipple. This is very dewy. I don't know if it's gonna dry down some. I think it might, but I don't know. So this is where we are. This is what my skin looks like. Very, very shiny. <laughs> but I'm gonna finish the rest of my face. But guys, this shade, like it's a little dark. But in terms of the undertone, I think this is perfect for me. Like probably the best matching thing that I have in my collection, which is saying a lot. So this is where we're starting. I am going to powder it down just a little bit and I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. You know, I use this most of the time whenever I do my foundation anyway. So we're keeping all that the same. And then I'll come back and show you guys the finished look with my makeup done give you a starting point and then we will go from there. All right, I'm back, face is done. That took a lot longer than it should have. I get so caught up when I'm playing in makeup, it's ridiculous. I finished my eyes off with this Revolution Times Sofix Ultra Shadows. I got this in a Marshalls TJ Maxx haul. I used this shade, this shade, and this shade, so I mean, it ain't nothing special. And I used a little bit of the black. Nothing special, but just wanted to play with it because I haven't yet. So this is where we're finishing off on my lips. I have this L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Lipstick in the shade Shakedown. Nice little dark moment. Um, yeah, so it is now absolutely ridiculous, 1042. Like I said, we started around nine something. I don't remember. I already put the time earlier, but I'm going to go get some stuff done. I'm going to check in before the gym and then I will see you guys again tonight after the gym. We are back for our first check in. It is currently 320. I'm going to move in a little closer so you guys can see what my face looks like. So this is where we are right now. As you can see, you still see my highlight, face is still glowy. I do feel like my wrinkles are quite a bit pronounced, but I mean, that happens a lot. So I like how everything else still looks really good. I'm wondering if this is settling into my lines more because I normally don't get lines right here, but I feel like I have them a little bit I ain't stressing about that too much, but foundation looks good. Everything is still there. I did notice that if I went in and tried to kind of smooth stuff out, it does not really move. Like this is set, this is on my face. So I'm excited to see what's gonna happen when I go to work out, but this is where we are right now and it's been Started at around 9.30, so almost six hours. And this is what we have. So I will check in with you guys tonight after my workout. I am back and I'm tired. It is 9.57, excuse my nail, I lost training. It has been over 12 hours that I've had this foundation on. Y'all look at my face and I was sweating this was not like a go play in the gym day. I'm gonna move closer so you can see because my main area I was sweating was here and here and I did kind of just dab it off. So I'll let you see. 
All right, so I think you can see like right here kind of rubbed off, but I, that's more, I think, my concealer than anything else. Oh, I look a little crusty and dry, baby. Um, yeah, a little more worn off here, but in terms of everything else, you can still see my blush, you can still see my bronzer, you can still see my highlighter, eyebrows still on, like everything is still, ow, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Everything is still there. Um, Elf Camo CC Cream. I don't know what to say, but I'm so glad that they came out with this. And I'm so glad that I found my perfect shade. I would not change that shade for the world. I think it fits well enough. 20 shades, $14. So worth it. Go get it. I approve. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Excuse me till the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope this review wear test kind of helps you make a decision on whether or not you want to get it. Comment below and let me know if you're thinking about it. If you've picked it up already, what do you think? Again, if you're new here, thanks for watching. And I hope you decide to join the family by subscribing to this channel. I would love to have you. I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.